Good job poking, dude. Ra ra, is this boom pop? Why do the bugs in Texas all want to kill you? It's rude. Non stop chills and thrills around here, folks. Okay, now I have to look at the video because I have no idea what I'm doing. This is so exciting. You can see the stuff in the thing. They turned on! Uh... Oh, God, bless America. Ha! Ah, no! Your tongue is sweating? Good morning. My camera just started doing that thing where it starts recording again. I know there's something that sets it off, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> I am. Um... Oh. I'm not going to be doing a lot of recording today. I'm just going to warn you guys. I'm still not getting around really great. If you missed the vlog from earlier this week, check it out. Whatever it does the things. I am. Um stepped on a very large tack type thing like a, I think it was an upholstery tack like one of the old upholstery tacks on Tuesday night and it went a good half to three quarters of an inch inside my foot so I had to go to the doctor yesterday and get a tetanus shot yay and uh, so we're just kind of keeping an eye on it but unfortunately I can't walk real great because it's right in the middle of my heel so I'm tiptoeing on my left foot which means of course that my usual Thursday morning swim is not a thing because I don't want to introduce the bacteria from pool water into my wound I don't feel like that would be a good idea so I have a, a bandage on the foot right now and uh, it's still obviously super tender the tetanus shot doesn't hurt nearly as much as my last one did it didn't even hurt when he did it yesterday, which was weird because the first time I had one, it was like, oh, so I think he was just really good at giving the shots. Good job poking, dude. Tomorrow is results day. I'm not super hopeful because I just started my period, but it's good. All data is data, right? So we're staying on track and that's the important part. I hope you're having an amazing day an awesome, wonderful, encouraged today. If you're not, be encouraged. You have friends that are here to encourage you. If you need encouragement, let me know down in the comments and I would be happy to be your personal cheerleader. Rah, rah, it's this boom bop. Look, I always wanted to be a cheerleader in high school, but my mom wouldn't let me because stereotypes. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm gonna have an interesting day trying to figure out how to hobble around my house. <laughs> Round two. Lori, how to do this all over again. I got my heating pad set up for the cramp situation. Dumb thing that put a wrench in the works on Sunday. Motherboard. Mother. Ooh. Yeah, don't, don't rock back on that door. That doesn't feel good at all. open up that, open up this, get it to where we were, and then we'll start where we left off. Oh, I stepped down on my whole foot. <clears throat> sure did. Pulling on electronics. It's just, it feels wrong. Oh, oh, oh please. Calm down. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, great. I dropped it, guys. Oh, it's in the middle of my coffee table. Kitty. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, Kilios, this is not my time. Touch the bottom again, and I don't like that. 
to go. Of course, you told me it would happen, Marshall. You told me. Everybody's in their holes, right? Hiding, we're hiding, hiding things underneath things. Results day. <laughs> so, results this morning were kind of to be as expected, no surprise, because it's a cycle week. So, when I stepped on the scale this morning, I had gained 0 0.7 pounds. Now, that is the first time since starting Mujaro that I've actually gained on a cycle week. Up to now, I've either been at a goose egg, zero pounds, or I've lost the one week after my binge, I lost close to a pound. It was like 0 0.8 or something like that. So this was my first time gaining since starting Mundro on my cycle. Now there have been other weeks where I've gained for various reasons when I was not on my cycle. So that's not necessarily new, but I'm not surprised at all. Uh, first of all, it's a heck of a cycle this month and I'm feeling super bloated this morning. So that's, you know, I knew as soon as I woke up this morning that that, that was probably gonna be a thing. For whatever reason, ever since I came back from the bachelorette party, I have been having a hard time getting my water in. I don't know why. It's usually not an issue, like up to now, like drinking my 90 ounces of water a day for the most part, unless, you know, on the off weekend day where I was really busy doing things and I just wasn't thinking about it. But normally, like if I'm at home and I'm just editing or working on whatever around the house, have my water bottle with me constantly and I'm usually drinking all the time but it just has not been at the forefront of my mind as much lately so I'm not sure what's going on there sorry I'm being bitten by it why do the bugs in Texas all want to kill you it's rude anyway <laughs> so I already know I didn't drink enough this week I haven't been for several weeks so I didn't drink enough and I have not been sleeping the best ever since Tuesday when I stepped on that tack. Uh, my foot has been pretty sore. It's just now getting to the point where I can kind of put some pressure on it without it just being like, oh. so that's the thing. Uh, because of my foot, obviously I haven't been able to do any of my exercise, so that hasn't helped. And then of course, because of my foot, I haven't really been able to cook because standing for long periods of time on one foot is pretty painful or on one tippy toe in the whole foot <laughs> so like my calf my left calf has been on fire because I'm having to alter the way I walk and my shin and all of that so it just it's been an it's been an all-around weird week so I'm I mean obviously like I said I woke up this morning and I already knew before I stepped on the scale what it was gonna do and I'm okay with it I mean I'm not it this was just a perfect storm of a weird week with the foot injury and my cycle and everything else I still feel really good about where I'm at and how I'm doing and staying on the 10 milligram I have really been struggling to eat the last several days yesterday I ate breakfast in the morning and then I was busy working on a bunch of things and I didn't stop working on that until about 5 30 and realized that I still hadn't eaten anything since breakfast and I still wasn't hungry so we ended up eating dinner around 6 30 and we did end up going out to eat because i had planned like this whole super intricate meal for last night and there was no way that i was going to be able to stand to cook it so 
there just was no way. So, you know, I'm not going to beat myself up about that. It was a weird circumstance. Could I have powered through it and just been like, oh, I'll just be in pain for an hour. It'll be fine. I just don't. It's not worth it. So it's fine. Honestly, I needed the calories that were in that out to eat meal because otherwise I would have only eaten like 800 calories yesterday, which isn't good for me. Anyway, like I said, it's just a blip in the radar. I'm totally happy with where I'm at right now, with where my losses are at, with my progress, with all of it. I'm totally fine. I've said it a million times, it is not a linear journey. It is never going to be a straight line from point A to point B, right? So let's go get some breakfast and enjoy the rest of this day. I'm hoping that my husband's going to get off early today. He's hoping he's gonna, he was going to get off early today because he had a horrific day yesterday. It was just one of those Murphy's Law kind of days. And um, so I'm looking forward to spending some time with him, getting my computer finished. I got it all put together. Like I got all the parts put in, but I still have to set up the BIOS and the operating system and do all of the plugins and the drivers and all of that stuff. Like I still have to do all of that, download all the programs, everything. <laughs> like there's, there's a lot that needs to be done still to get it up to working order. So let's go get this day started. <laughs> I have really been enjoying this baked Monte Cristo. This will be a repeat for sure. If you're looking for a recipe you like to take to a potluck for like a breakfast thing and you're worried about having something that you can eat, first of all, the portion size is redonkulous. Like I said yesterday, I ate breakfast and then I realized at 5.30 in the evening I still hadn't eaten anything and I still wasn't hungry. I probably could have easily turned this into 12 portions instead of 8, but... Honestly, it's so few calories, it doesn't make sense to do that. Mm. You could definitely up the calorie count by putting a little bit of butter on it. Or using some half and half instead of 2% milk or whatever. But honestly, I think it's perfect just the way it is. It is so, so good. I still have four more servings of it in the freezer for another week sometime. I probably won't eat it next week, but soon for sure. I'm gonna... Enjoy this Monte Cristo, and then I'm also going to do some prep for another video I'm going to do on Monday. And then I'm going to work on setting up my computer. It's going to be real exciting. As my life is. Non-stop chills and thrills around here, folks. If there's any particular type of video you guys want to see, or content you guys are interested in, from me please let me know well, sometimes I think about doing certain things and I'm like they won't see me do that <laughs> but I've learned not to make assumptions on your behalf so let me know your thoughts feelings desires deepest burning questions I'm gonna down this and get to wait oh. okay we're about to turn her on for the first time Power switch. <gasps> the light went on. <gasps> it's heating it up. <gasps> what the BIOS is coming on? <gasps> okay, now I have to look at the video because I have no idea what I'm doing. This is so exciting. You can see the stuff in the thing. They turned on. Uh... Okay. Okay, now I have to figure out the rest. Mmm, <laughs> carnitas. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Fresh fries. Look, you guys, it changes colors. Okay, okay, I just had to show you that. Goodbye. Hey guys, so my computer works. It turns on, it does all the things. 
the lights change colors. It's so fun. I still have a bunch of setup I need to do on it. Like I need to download all the programs and all that stuff. I decided I was done with it tonight. My husband and I are going to play some video games together. So I'm just going to play on my old computer. <laughs> it still works just fine. It's just, it, it's severely underpowered for the kind of editing that I'm doing. So it will definitely make my editing life a million times easier. And I'm hoping to have it up and running by Sunday so that I can get Monday's video edited and posted. So we shall see how that goes. <laughs> I just wanted to check in and uh, let you guys know about dinner. I actually had a really decent appetite for dinner. I was surprised. I, Even though I hadn't eaten anything since breakfast, I still wasn't feeling hungry. Like I was at that place where I was kind of telling that I, I could tell that I needed to eat. But then like once I started eating, it was like, oh my gosh, I'm ravenous. And I was actually able to eat both of my tacos and some of my french fries and beans. So. That's saying something for me. <laughs> Normally I'm one taco and a couple of bites of beans and then I'm done. So it was a very happy dinner and I'm not feeling uncomfortably full or anything like that. So I'm grateful because I've had several days in a row where I have not eaten very much. So I've got a ton of calories to catch up on this weekend. It's just gonna be what it is. I'm not gonna hurt myself trying to force myself to eat. It just, you know, I'll, I'll get in what I get in. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to say goodnight to y'all because we're going to just be playing some video games until the wee hours. And then you know how we do on Saturday morning. We're probably going to have breakfast tomorrow. So I'm not going to film tomorrow. I'm trying to do my best to work on some better work-life balance and uh, not be filming seven days a week and editing seven days a week. It's just not healthy for anybody to work all the time. So, um, and plus I've decided it just seems like there's a lot of repetition. So hopefully the quality of the content will improve if not the quantity going down just a teensy bit. So I will see you guys on Sunday though for grocery shopping with Dicky. Morning guys. So I'm just doing some stuff around the house, waiting for Nikki to get here. I'm installing programs on my new computer and all that fun jazz. All that jazz. Anyway, um, just kind of having a normal Sunday. We're going to be doing some grocery shopping, as always. Have some fun time with the Nickerson. And um, then after that, Richard and I will probably catch lunch. And then I'm going to work on a tiny bit of editing. And then we're just going to play some video games. Guys, this has been a real boring weekend. My husband had a crazy week at work. And he's just tired. He was like, I don't want to leave the house this weekend at all. Except to eat. That's it. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. And I'm kind of okay with it. It's been a crazy week. Next Wednesday is his birthday. So trying to find something to do with someone that doesn't really like a lot of fuss made about him is always interesting. Did some meal planning last night, found a new website with a ton of recipes on it, so those will be definitely forthcoming. Macro Stacks is the name of the website. They have a program that you can pay for where they figure out all your macros for you and everything. You guys know I don't really pay a lot of attention to macros, but I do try to make sure that I get plenty of protein in and those macro friendly recipes usually tend to focus on protein. So that's why I like them so much. So I'm excited about that. It's going to be a good week, you guys. Are you ready for a good week? I am. I hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are. Let's go do some grocery shopping. Cozy. <laughs> Sorry, I have no meetings. Okay. Have to get out of potlucks for the rest of your life. Oh hell yes! You always volunteer to bring paper goods. You know, there's always that one. It's like you ask for people to sign up, and they just like, like, I'm bringing plates. Yep. And cups and. That's what I'm good at. Yeah. You're a liar. You bring that cake. I do bring that cake. Day I'm not cake. talking about you with me either. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why? Oh. Why can I smell you from the lid? Good at ignoring my feelings. Are you though? No. Yeah. I'm good at pretending to ignore my feelings. <laughs> <laughs>
Sorry. We're going to go grocery shopping, you guys. We have our friend here, Olivia. Yeah. Tell Olivia you love her so much. Because she's amazing and we love her. <laughs> <laughs> we go shopping now. Okay, bye. Have we learned proper wasabi dosages no. yet? No? No? You would like to kill yourself again? Thank you. They're on sale! Mmm! Your tongue is sweating? <laughs> we had a sample. It really... It was nowhere near as spicy as the wasabi she eats, but she's having a hernia. <laughs> it's an apple gourd. Look how cute it is. It's like a watermelon, but a gourd, but the apple. It's having an identity crisis. It is. What the heck is a finger lime? You put them in your nose. No? <laughs> She's getting honey. There are bees in there. Not in there. <laughs> There's bee poop in there. No, bee it's puke. There's bee vomit. Did you know that? You guys look they have brain bath bombs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can't find a time where I can tell ya what I feel now. <laughs> okay guys oh there's my husband okay we'll see no. you guys later bye no 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 <laughs> no <laughs> he likes to keep her from getting out of the car no <laughs> yummy 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 mm. Hey guys, so we're just at home. I just finished uh, posting a video, well, scheduling a video for tomorrow, and I'm not super hungry. In fact, I'm still feeling sort of kind of full, but I know I need to eat some more today. So I'm just gonna do breakfast for dinner because it's quick and it's easy, and I'm feeling kind of lazy, and I just cleaned the kitchen, and I don't wanna get it super dirty again. So I'm just gonna have some tried and true breakfast. It's so guys just watching a little bit of TV here with the puppy before I go to bed and I am exhausted it's not like we really did that much this weekend I mean I got my computer set up which was a lot more work than I expected it to be if I'm gonna be perfectly honest but I did edit my first video today and it was so much faster hi buddy so I am so excited with how that will hopefully affect my quality of life over the next week or two so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's been kind of a weird one as I'm adjusting to this new filming schedule bear with me <laughs> anyway I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a like let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I will see you in the next one bye guys